look at what happening in the uh, games and the highlights of the first 45 minutes. Dwarves looking to break on the uh, far side with this ball in. Making sure it's again not the best of balls. Ajin and Boateng partnering pretty well with uh, Kwame Boateng. And so a lot of work which was done by Ajin and Boateng and Kwame Boateng was able to connect home for the first goal here for Midia Mercy. But the Busuan draws that Harmon also coming in to support Iso. Lays this one to Donko. And just flattening this one into the back of the net for the equalizer. And of course, uh, Zuta tried his best. It didn't work out. And Turn Donko was able to get support there from his teammates. And that was a lovely ball there from Alaji Mustafa. It wasn't over until this one came in. Mustafa dropped the ball to the far side. Up here, lifting this ball up here. The goalkeeper spilled it. It wasn't well cleared. Also, the uh, rebound here. And nearly caused a lot of problems there for the Bushwa Dwarves. And another one which went away. And was crunchy. There's a throw in here which was missed by goalkeeper Yawan Sa and Hamot punished him with this beautiful goal. And again, the Bushwa Dwarves did well with Dapitora cutting back beautifully, lays another exquisite pass now for Bentil to make it 3-1. Initially it sounded like everything was all clear now for Ebu Swan Dwarves to win the game. And again the counter attack for Ebu Swan Dwarves was so much into the game and they did everything possible to get another one here. the ball here and again it was missed by Jinin Boateng. Kwame Boateng picked the ball here and Boateng was given yet another pass and Kwame Boateng just scored a fantastic goal here for Mijema. Yet again the, the penalty was given to Mijema AC with a yellow card flashed out here to Richard Ahin until this goal came in. The ball which just came in, it was headed down and Ejenim Boateng was able to get the ball down. And so the first half score line is Midyama 3, Bussard Dwarves 3. Eric Apia for uh, Richard Arhin and Midyama yet to make any change. Pretty surely we're going to have this uh, second half uh, happening. Well, that's uh, Theresa Akujam, the assistant referee too for today's game. Also decorated with the uh, FIFA Amban. there for the players where it was not those that are hoping at least with the introduction of the likes of Peter Tay who did play for Akuti United and an Ashaman based player of course played his coach team for Ashaman Young Brazilians before moving to join Prem Prem Bays and Akuti United.
And so we're going to have this game happening and uh, ensure that at least uh, almost all the supporters who have come in to join this game will be happy. Well, so the second half is just about starting, and the Busuan Dwarves will be helping at least they start the second half looking to move on. Joseph Dabitora, the uh, Elmina Sharks player who just uh, switched up to uh, Cape Coast from Elmina, just about uh, 20 minutes drive. And here is the one who is also hoping to lead the attack there for Busuan Dwarves. Yet again, another decision would have to come in here from the referee and uh, he's going to give a free kick just on the line there for Mijema. Well, yet again, there will be a lot of talking to be done. Well, that's the decision here for Janine Boating. Well, the foul just happening outside, just outside the box there. And that's the reason it's on the line. And the free kick advantage going down to uh, Mijema AC. Uh, cool just up here. Moment coming in. Ebusuan draws making a third change in the game. Two in the first half and one here. And so in comes uh, Michael Ado, and he, he plays his club football for best 11 before moving to Busuan Dwarves. Comes in for Akins Asante, the Nia Selemina player. What opportunity here, and the goal has been registered for Mitiama! Beautiful goal here from the captain Tete Zuta. What a free kick now for Mitiama. Goals have been scored. In a very, very beautiful manner here. Delicious goal there from Tete Zuta. Look at the technique. Bend the ball just over the ball. And goalkeeper Frank Ando was completely in La La Land. That is the goal here for Mijema. 4 3 stands at the moment. Ebusuan draws, not giving up yet. Fans can afford to. Be asking a lot of questions there as to what exactly happened. Seven goals and 47 minutes in this game. Four for Mijema, three for Wisconsin Dwarves. Whoa! Mijema again looking to move on the far side. Musa Mohammed here to clean things up there for the Wisconsin Dwarves. Hit the ball out of play. It was crunchy. Some things so we're here for. Mijia Marisi was going to advertise for a long throw dip inside the box. Now, header comes on, it's been cleared away by uh, Ebusuan Dwarves. Still looking to bend this ball over again. He just moved out on top of the goal. That's uh, a bright end show, the left full back. And he was playing for JBC, a uh, Division 2 team in a Greek. And now playing for Mediama. Watching here. And uh, got pushed away by the captain, J.M. Mentor. Well, it's going to 
Kete Zuta. Enchu uh, gives the ball away. Session not lost, but Mijema will pick things up here. And now moving with the ball is Ajay Bwachi. And he thinks that he was battered in the face. And the referee really whistles for a decision goes against him. on both sides and of course trying to make sure that at least they're able to get most of the goals incoming. Busson draws now trying to keep possession neat and simple in midfield. Good play now from Busson draws trying to switch play and looking for Alaji Mustafa. And chill. Good play by Agent in Boateng. Well, Agent in Boateng has been part of the Mijema setup, though. Just happens that some of these players haven't really been able to get enough playing time, but uh, they are showing why they should have the opportunity to uh, play in the next Premier League season. With another ball here, and then Dwarfs will just keep the ball away. Just as play, hitting the ball to the far side, he must crunch it. GM on main side intercepts beautifully. Well, that's uh, MSH Soccer City Boys. They seem to be giving a lot of uh, support there to one of their stars who is now playing in one of the top uh, teams. And mostly what you, you do is that you do find some of these fun clubs happening for some of the players who perhaps are moving from one of the uh, nearby towns and maybe having two players in the Division 2 or Division 1 clubs to get the opportunity to play for uh, a Premier League side. So eventually some of these fans are able to form a fan club to cheer him up anytime he's in action. Free kick here for Mediama. Zuta behind it. Zuta. My boating with the header here, but it goes out of play. Well, there's been a lot of debate as to whether Kwame Boateng should have been given a lot of time by Kumasi Santiago to go after switching from Great Olympics. Where the storyline was Kwame Boateng won the best player in the uh, Chase competition back in uh, second D, which a lot of times cemented his place with Kumasi Santiago. And Kumasi, this time it is Mediama making it five. Well, so it is Enyanim Watting who makes it two goals for himself as well. Enyanim Watting loving the fan club there, and that is his friends and of course his pals from MC Chu who are supporting him today. Just as I was talking about Kwame Watting, he laid a beautiful pass there to Enyanim Watting. Look at this one again. Musa Muhammad missed this opportunity. And the ball just went down to Emi, the man, Ejene Mbwating. A lot of pressure there from Kwame Mbwating. And he calmly and coolly slotted in for the fifth goal there for Mijema. He's got a third goal and now he's got a fifth for Mijema AC. Black stick down. Yet again, he has been dealt with.
Okay, so we're talking about uh, Kwan Boateng and his exploits. Bokmasia Santi Goroko, when they won the Jesus competition back in second D. Scored some great goals there for Kumasia Santi Goroko, and the fans were pretty much excited, at least for him joining the Pokemon Warriors. And when the season started, they didn't see some of those flashes. And at the point, felt disappointed to have him. As the Busuan draws look to find a way to get a goal. And as we headed down, disappointingly by Joseph Davitora. to have a, a very strong position for this competition so far in the very first game that has been able to register about eight goals gloves three the demo five are you surprised trying to find a way yet Debitora and once again another good play there for Gloss for the ball just the ball being kept in uh, play oh, the other game being played in Kumasi is uh, Kotoko 1 Levin Wonders nail or better who's just going through the uh, penalty. No free kicking. The goal area of uh, Busan. Media Mercy. Milan Yaro just get the ball out. Well, the players of uh, Busan draw say that the ball hit the arm of uh, Ibrahim Yaro. The referee says no. Ball here for goalkeeper. No. Yeah, one such a deal with this. Spills it again. Well, it's been a very jacky moment down for Yawansa in this game. He's not been able to deal with most of the balls that have been hitting the six yard box. He's been struggling to deal with the meantime. Just so he saw he's down injured. Point front of the fans here looking into this game. And again, he just picked the ball away from Alaji Mustafa. So, uh, a hold up now. And that's the uh, MSA Chisoka City Boys. They're looking forward to leaving us out that. Well, that's an opportunity. Once again, look at the goalkeeper. 
failed to deal with it because Alachi, well, Esau was able to get his head to it and picked it up for the second time. Work to be done here for Midyama. Yet again, they are looking for opportunity to see the team to be able to score more. to play down to the far side here we saw doors looking spiky and looking to maybe score here with a strike which has been blocked and for cleared meantime Zuta will look to hit the long ball forward for Kwame Boateng to chase this one well Kwame Boateng just couldn't deal with it yet again Kwame Boateng his knee and then I picked up an injury there and had a lot of knee problems when playing for Marcia Sante Kotoko well that was it oh I just missed that from JM on Mensa but it appears to be okay now to continue Well, the drumming and the clapping are just stopped here for the Busan draw supporters. And we're just hoping at least the team can continue, but uh, they have been left uh, ruining some of the, mark, the chances they've had. But it's 5 3 here. The Busan draws looking to move in again, but this time the yeah, Avancer has been able to grab it pretty well. Picking signals that Mijama will probably make in the first substitution in the game. And more scrunchy here on the ball. As he gets his way deep inside the half of Usman we'll draws ball. Hit and uh, goalkeeper. Frank Hano uh, is able to deal with it. And that's edging him watching with that one. And uh, he shot losing possession. There has been some bit of an agent in their play with the introduction of a Michael Ado into the Busnodo setup. And ever since that, Peter Tay also joined, he's also played a part. Have a free kick now with no draws to take advantage of. Oh, they can actually get to score here today. Oh, they should have the chance to do so, but the referee really whistling for just some bit of a push in there in the goal area of uh, with no draws. So we take out the free kick here by Ibusuan Dwarfs. And it's been whipped in beautifully. Well, nearly scored, but the Dwarfs players are looking on to see the ball really cross the line. Uh, that was an excellent ball here for Ibusuan Dwarfs. They can't score, but they'll flag up for it offside against Abitura. A 
good ball here by Dwarves. And that's uh, Richard I here with a free kick. Uh, it's just bend the ball deep into the box, but he really didn't get closer to the line. It was well saved there by the goalkeeper. So that's the first substitution now for Midyama. Rashid Norte making way for Meshak Odum. <laughs> Meshak Odum, also one of the players who did score for Midyama when they played against the Takwadi Select side where they won by five goals to nail. With Zuta scoring two goals, then was Crunchy scoring as well. And uh, Odum also get to score. Janine Boateng was also on target on the day. And guess what? They lead by five goals to three today, Midyama. So they're looking forward to seeing what happens. Well, Mijama gets the sixth goal here. And the captain, Tete Zuta, is going to score here. Tete Zuta scores and makes it six for Mijama. Wow. Well. It's raining in Takrade and the goals are also raining here in Cape Coast. With Tetezuta making a six and nine goals scored in open play in the Gaka Justice competition here in Cape Coast. What an interesting scoreline. And you know what is happening? The Dwarf supporters are filing out of the stadium. Some of the Dwarf supporters have seen enough and they're filing out because the team has been blown apart. It's like a, having a very big missile thrown at you. Everything is being blown into Tartus. Dwarf supporters, they've seen enough with a team down with six goals in their basket. Whoa, they can't hold on again. Yeah, the drums would also leave as well. Nothing will be left in the stadium. <laughs> that's, that's just very <laughs> disappointing. Well, so hands on the waist asking questions what happened what did i do wrong what happened to my center backs where did they go to medium has shown some bit of superiority here they let we saw draws came in strongly to score three quick goals making it three one and i've been three two three three and now it's six goals for medium the cricket scoreline we have today Kwame Boateng with two goals Rashid Norte what Rashid Norte didn't score here today Ejirin Boateng scored he scored two goals there for Mijiema Kwame Boateng with two goals Tetezuta with two goals so three players for Mediama, all on two goals today. Teda Zuta with two, Kwame Boatin with two, and Ejenim Boatin with two as well. Well, free kick advantage here, but get the wall comes back into play. 
Uh, Mijema will have it more scrunchy. Shot of the ball. It's a free kick advantage to the Melbourne Yellow. Cutting who is on two goals will give the cutters down bound to the goalkeeper Yawan Sun and in comes John Arthur. A, a former student of St. Augustine's College here in Cape Coast, Tetezuta. He always loved to be back in Cape Coast and his return to Cape Coast, he scored two goals for Midiama and should be pleased with his performance. to get into the box they're hoping the referee will give them a uh, penalty with uh, 19 more minutes to go and uh, Ansa trying to play it uh, pretty much simple there with a the center back Ibrahim Yaro appears to be having a very stable partnership there with uh, Ali Atara Yusuf, it was one draws again. Beautiful opportunity. Draws can get a goal! And they have! Eventually, Joseph Debitora gets to score now to make it 6 4. And guess what? Still counting the number of goals being scored. 10 goals in open play in the second game here in Cape Coast. Oh, that's a very excellent finish there from Joseph Dabitura. He moved from Elmina Shacks to Ebuson Draws and now he's beginning to show why he should probably have stayed in Elmina. But now he's in Cape Coast scoring goals now for Ebuson Draws. to be a very interesting game we have today. So a lot of uh, the goals really have been very excellent, if you ask me, between the two teams. As the Boussois draws shot forward again, look to get a fit here. Yaro, oh, they are excellent defending. And Dabitura, and together with a partnership with Iso, Iso looking to get a goal here. Alaji goes to ground, and a call for a penalty will not be given here, according to referee Isaka Afu.
Well, again, two players down. Turns out to be uh, tender two. Well, if you look at their preseason preparation between the two teams, really, you'll be perhaps asking a lot of questions. I tell you what, if we saw Dwarves did play a minute shots in two leg game, that was supposed to be an Indian Shield tournament. They won one nil here at the Kipco Stadium. And that's uh, one of the opportunities they thought really they were going to have to move forward. And then they lost to Abina Shaks in a reverse fixture and lost 3 1 on penalties. Meantime, Mediama SC played against uh, Takrade Select side, won by five goals to nil, and they play against Umat team, that's the University of Mines and uh, Technology school team, and they beat them 3 1, and now that victorious goal here. Challenge now. The well, last uh, <laughs> we're still trying to move forward now. Look for that opportunity uh, defensively. It's been well worked out by Isaac Donko. We have a long ball forward here, and Ibrahim Yaro picking up his goalkeeper, Ansa. Justice Blade losing the ball here for Dwarfs Alaji Mustafa. Isaac Donko. And again, it's not well defended well by uh, Ali Wadrago Yusuf. Wadrago Yusuf here. He's just putting himself in a very bad position. Uh, lucky to have support there from goalkeeper Yawan Sa. Uh, you still did play for RTU until moving to uh, Mijema. Here, Ebusua draws, Ebutura, and you, you saw support not coming in. Well, just missing this great opportunity, Ebutura. A good run there from Joseph Iso. Twelve more minutes to go here, and Ebusua draws really want to get back into this game. A lot of goals. making way for Richard Buedu and so that's the former RTU player who's coming out for Richard Buedu and Richard Buedu a former player of Far Rangers English one team he 
is a defensive midfielder who is coming up to uh, solidify the midfield play of uh, Mediama. Excellent game at the moment. Trying to get the ball deep inside it. Medium half and uh, it's well sealed by Yawan Shah. With 10 more minutes to go, the scoreline still reads medium as 6, it was four. Don't be surprised, 10 goals in open play. It's been very excellent from the two sides. And they played some amazing football with uh, some cracking goals to add to it. Isaac Donko. The draws trying to go with the flanks. Another ball in here, being headed down by Blay. Clarence not the best. Again, it's been whipped in. And J.M. Mesa goes in to uh, support the uh, defenders. Good play, Bussard draws. Switch of play, excellent. J.M. now defending with your lives. And the foul here by Wedu. He's been booked for that foul, it just came on not long ago. And that's a former Power Rangers player who has been booked. And uh, Stuart Bouchon draws who believe that they have some uh, opportunity to get a goal here with this free kick. It's excellent, it's like uh, hitting a, a rugby ball up there. There's a rugby kick there from Steven Bento. I'm hey, 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 watching here. Pushing coming in. So position goes to Ajay Bwachi. Where do? Watching was brought down here for a free kick to Mediama. <laughs> and this time there will be another chance now, and a little bit of a push there on uh, Ejenim Boating. Extension of the arm there, so the elbow is going to be a, a yellow card there, according to the referee Isakafo. Well, he's uh, played so well, excellently there. The uh, centre back for Mijema, Ibrahim Yaru. looking for yet another goal another opportunity back in the box there for Mijema looking to line up for another shot now flag stays down 
and it has been excellently cleared away by Amos Crunchy. Kwame Boateng holding up play beautifully there for Mijema. Kwame Boateng, and now it is Richard Puedu. Jay Boachi losing the ball, but a good recovery there for Justice Blake. Meantime, Dwarfs on the ascendancy here. And Emos Crunchy drops it down for his goalkeeper, Yawan San. Five more minutes plus stoppage time to go. Last five minutes, the uh, stoppage time to go. Perhaps there will be a lot of uh, questions here. I did say that uh, Kwame Boateng scored two goals, Edini Boateng has scored two goals. And it, well, again, another strike there from afar. So there's a hold up here. Hello, director. Director, please tell the graphic people that the giving watching has scored two goals, but she's not there to score the goal. So there will be a lot of uh, time for some pep talk there from the coaches. Where the red card has been given to Isaac Donko by referee Isaka Afo. The first red card of the competition going down to Isaac Donko of Ebusua Dwarves. He was already on the yellow card the first half. One extension of the air ball there. And the referee just whistled for that free kick and eventually a second yellow and the marching orders followed with three more minutes to go plus stoppage time that's all we have got left here in Cape Coast with this game happening So uh, Ansan will be happy. At least he's been saved. In time, Ebusan draws. Still have a situation to deal with it, where the player who has been brought down and uh, leading to the red card to Isaac Donko. In time, play continues, and the argument will also continue in the stands. Two more minutes to go here. Well, it's been one of the most explosive games you have in the GCS uh, or G8 competition. Well, again, that's a poor ball here. What well, a bit of an interesting story here, looking at how many goals have been scored. Well, their captain, Tetezuta for Mijema, scored two goals, Kwame Boating on two goals as well. And then Ejen Mboateng in the 18 shirt for Mediema, also on two goals. Well, that's going to be uh, a free kick just on the line, just a similar way. Mediema got to score through Tetezuta. It will be a huge opportunity now for Abushnod Dwarves 
That is if he's world ticking. Opportunity now for Ebusua Dwarfs. And now they try to look for an opportunity to make it 6 5. Ebusua Dwarfs. We're into stoppage time now. Can it happen, Ebusua Dwarfs? This is a great chance here. Busuan Dwarfs looking forward to this one. Ball has been lifted. That is very excellent here for Busuan Dwarfs. And Joseph Iso gets to score finally to make it 6 5. That is sweet, sweet free kick here. Yawansa was completely beaten. Sweet goal here for Mebusua Dwarves. And with four more minutes to go, they still will believe that they can come back into the game, Mebusua Dwarves. Well, so, 11 goals in a game with. Uh, Mijima looking to make sure they get another one here. The referee spotting a bit of an infringement here to the advantage of Mijima. Well, I must really admit that uh, most of the goals that have been scored here have been very, very exciting ones I mean very amazing and well taken goals as the comes out punches the ball away it's still not done yet not well cleared and it was one draws looking forward to make it six all but again goalkeeper Yawansa would make sure he saved this one and now the fans will be worried because Yawansa has gone to lay his bed to take a little nap. That was a chance now. The goalkeeper came out to just uh, punch the ball away. It was not well dealt with. And then a large Mustafa with this one. And Yawan Sa and deciding to go down, feeling he's been impeded. A bit of a shock now for the players and the supporters of uh, Ebu Swan Dwarfs. Still wondering why Alaji Mustafa did uh, lose that opportunity. Well, the uh, Interesting story here it has to do with the fact that if you look at the tactical play of Mijema, even after taking the lead on 6-3, uh, they were still looking forward to attacking more and getting more goals and at the same time exposing their back line and allowing the Busan Dwarfs to take advantage. And that's the reason their scoreline still remains 6-5 because then they didn't really close the gap, they didn't really close their, their defensive play. They still were looking forward to score more goals in Mijema. And so they were going with the open play.
about the uh, four minutes already up now uh, because the goalkeeper went down. The Bushwan draw also looking forward to seeing if they can have opportunity. Meantime, Midiama looking to break here. Ball whipped in. And the goalkeeper comes out in his own area. And it will take some bit of time. Again, ball sent back to the goalkeeper. Hits it out of play. Now a lot of pressure mounting on Midiama. And Dwarves looking to take advantage. Ball whipped in. It's been cleared by Ibrahim Yaro. Yaro again goes in. But again, it's still the Busan Dwarves. Joseph Fiso holding up play. And then Swinger comes out. And he's been headed out beautifully by Midiama. The return and Emos Crunchy clears it away. J.M. Wamensa mopping things up in defense for Ebuswan Dwarves. Switch of play to the far side. And Musa Muhammad swings it in again. And now it's going to be Midiama to clear their lines. Ball brought back again. A handball situation, a free kick. Quickly taken. And now it is going to be Enchil who gets the ball away. Midiama. And all sort of trouble now in terms of uh, defending. And now they will try to have uh, Granchi on the far side. Looking to take his man on here. Chuck the ball backwards again. Opportunity now for Mijema with a long shot. Comes out! And he's been seen beautifully by the goalkeeper. And up. Uh, it's going to be a corner kick. the assistant referee in the far side there is a coach up indicating and a corner kick only the last kick there for Mijema Corner taking short now. Well, so that's happening. The very dramatic game we have today, the J6 uh, G8 competition by Gaka. The second game in Cape Coast. Mediama and Ebuswa Dwarves producing 11 goals in open play. Six for Mediama and five for Ebuswa Dwarves. But all the goals were started by Mediama by Kwame Boating and Ebuswa Dwarves. That different idea is giving a lot of goals now. And Ben Till together with Isaac Donko, who just received a, a red card in the game. Joseph Iso also getting to score today. Albert Hambon also scored. Tete Zuta, Edenim Boating, and then Kwame Boating all scoring there for Midiama. And so the dramatic game, lots of passion in the game as well. And Midiama SC 6, Ebusuna Dwarves 5. <laughs>
Thank you very much for your support. God bless you, Baba.